Okay, hey everyone and welcome to another video tutorial from Firex and this time I will show you some very basic simple missions that you can create in Arma 2. So let's begin! I will create everything using only what I explain in my first videos. So if you haven't seen them, click the link below right now. Okay, let's begin. The first mission will be very easy to make and get from the point A to the point B. And of course expect some trouble on the way, so choose a nice place for your mission and create a player's unit. Now make other members of his group. If you are making a multiplayer mission, make all units of your group playable. If not, make them not playable. Now make some enemies. Remember to make enemy soldiers far enough to allow the player some movement at least. You cannot begin the mission in a fight that makes the player disorientated and often his soldier is hit before he can do anything. And such an early death is not what you want. So always move your enemies far enough. Okay, now switch to waypoints. We want player to move, so choose his unit and create a waypoint somewhere here between enemy soldiers. Then create another waypoint to the final area, so over here for example. It is important to let the player know what to do and where to go. Now switch to triggers. This part is the most difficult one. Make one trigger close to the player. Now choose activation, anybody. Click on effects and choose some nice music, so once the player starts this mission, the chosen music will start playing straight away. Now make another trigger over the enemy forces and choose activation, op4, not present. Also increase the size of the trigger by increasing these two numbers from 50 to 90. Again click on effect and make a text informing the player about his success. This trigger will control the enemy forces in the area and once they are gone, so dead or fleeing, it should tell the player that the area is safe. Make one last trigger over the final area, choose activation blue for present and resize the trigger to 20 times 20. This will be the location you need to reach to end the mission. Choose the trigger type end number one. So once the player enters this area, the mission will end. When creating a search and destroy type of mission, you need to balance your and opposing forces. Once again, create a player and his group. Multiplayer missions, playable units, single player mission, non playable. Also make some enemies. Now make a waypoint for your group. Choose the search and destroy type so that the player knows what to expect. Now you could just create a trigger here and be done with it, but I will show you how to make things a little bit more interesting. Switch to groups and exclude these soldiers from the group. Now back to waypoints and choose one of the lone soldiers. Make a few waypoints around the place like this. And now create the last one on his position and choose the type cycle. That means that the soldier will move in this circle over and over again forever. Something like a patrol. Now open once again the first waypoint and choose speed limited so that the soldier only walks and behavior safe. The safe behavior makes the soldier walk slowly with his weapon lowered but once he is in danger he starts shooting. If you want, make more patrols around the place, I will make one more. Ok, now switch to triggers and make a trigger around the whole place, so a big one. 120 times 150. Activation op for not present. Type nothing and effects. Text enemy forces eliminated or something like that. So once you destroyed all enemies in the area, you will get this text. Make another trigger of the same size and roughly on the same place. Now choose activation op4, not present and choose countdown and set 4 seconds. Choose type end number 1. This trigger will end the mission 4 seconds after the text is shown so you will have time to read it before the mission ends. That's it. Enemy soldiers will patrol around the area, your unit will come and destroy them, the text will appear on your screen and the mission will end. Make a trigger for music or anything you like, if you wish it doesn't really matter. Ok, let's do one more mission. This one will be defend the base for a certain period of time. So first of all, as always, make a player's unit. You can add more soldiers around him if you want or let him alone there. Now make something like his base, so several empty objects, perhaps some extra weapons. Now make some enemy units around the player. Switch to waypoints and choose the commander of each enemy group and make a waypoint for each of them. 
All waypoints should head towards the player and his base, so once the mission starts, all enemy forces will move forward and the player will have to eliminate them as they will be coming near him. Now make a trigger very close to player's unit, activation anybody, and set the countdown to some nice time, let's say some 5 minutes. It always depends on the actual mission, how far is the enemy and how long you want the player to play the game. If it's too long, it will be boring and difficult. If it's too short, player might just hide somewhere without the need to fight. Next, set the type to end number 1. Ok, that's about it, the mission is done. Of course, add some triggers for music or text if you want. All these missions could of course be much more complicated and all that, but we'll get to that some other time. I wanted to show you something very simple without any commands. Ok, that's gonna be it for this video, I'm preparing some other kinds of videos for the next week, so subscribe and make sure you don't miss anything. Thanks a lot for watching and see you all next time.